Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is obviously not Minecraft. This is Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, or Open RCT2, which is kind of a, if I understand correctly, an open source version of the game where people who liked the game but were disappointed in how the franchise moved forward took the files, modified them, patched some things, and added some new fun features to the game to make it more interesting. Um, so people who own the game, like myself, I bought it on Steam, you can take those game files and have OpenRCT2 interpret them and make them into something playable like this. So I want to... Okay, I don't want to play Crazy Castle. What am I doing? <laughs> I want to do a playthrough of one of my favorite scenarios, also one of the easiest scenarios, just to kind of start things off, test out if this is uh, content that you like. Maybe if you want to see me do things like this in the future... Let's get rid of some of this junk and demolish some of this unnecessary scenery that we don't need. So I really like this game. This is one of the games I grew up with. I have a lot of fond memories of playing this game. I like kind of calm, relaxed strategy games because it's a me to me it's a it's a mental exercise. But it's also very relaxing and not very stressful, kind of like a wandering in the deep dark with a warden can be. So I like it a lot. If I just want to unwind, explore my creative faculties a little bit, it's a great opportunity to do that. So right now what I'm doing is I'm cleaning up some of the mess left behind by the scenario setup. I think, I think scenarios like this are built like this on purpose with the intent of making it difficult but if you realize that the set, the way it's set up may not be the most optimal, you can actually just go and change everything and make it better. Ah, oh, dang it. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Waste of cash right there. Okay. So, since we deleted some scenery, now I have a bit of cash. And the pathways are uh, not ready yet. The pathways are a little bit cleaned up. I'm just going to keep that birch tree, because why not? There we go. We're a little bit cleaned up. Now we can start building some rides. Let's start with a few things to just get people through the doors. I am not an expert at this game. I'll say it right now. I'm certainly not a pro at this. I'd say I'm decent at it, but I'm not like... Um... Gosh, I can't remember the name of his channel. There's a YouTuber who, who breaks down the the game mechanics of various parts of this game and makes it very easy to understand, but I actually can't remember what the name of his channel is, so my apologies to him. I'll probably mention it in a future video. Why are these still pea soup colored? Let's make this something a little more attractive. <laughs> Let's try uh, maybe a cyan. And random color. Thank you. Get some variety. Let's open that. Change the price. Let's say... Three hundred dollars, three bucks, at least for the first year or so before it becomes old news to the guests and they want it to be cheaper because they're not willing to pay so much. There we go. Let's make this one two fifty. I'm not actually sure if that's actually going to be a, if that's going to work. So we'll have to look back at that in a minute. And now for the fun stuff, roller coasters. I always like to build my own roller coasters. If I'm doing a scenario where I'm just trying to crank out numbers fast, I might just buy, buy pre-builds, but normally I like to custom design my roller coasters. Let's put this thing in the orchard over here. Let's elevate it a little bit. Let's actually elevate it over these trees. There we go. Four, five, six. Oh, 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 we're gonna have a rainstorm. Let's capitalize that as quick as we can. Open, set that to 20 bucks, because when it's raining, people will pay anything for an umbrella. Same price, the park. And one more over here. There we go. Before I forget, let me close this path off. Why'd you have to go over there? Stop, no, no, oh, you got away. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I guess I won't get too horribly lost. Anyway, back to this. Um, where were we? Oh, yes. Let's make this a little longer. 
There we go. Now we have two trains. That's what I want to see. Up the lift hill. Do I have access to articulated trains? Nope, I don't. That's unfortunate. Because if I did, I might be able to get away with doing this without having the chain extend all the way across. Yep, can't do it. Gosh dang it. I'd like to do it, because interrupting that with a chain right in the middle just doesn't look attractive at all. What is going on here? <laughs> I said that I said they had bug fixes, but they also introduced their own bugs when they did this. <laughs> Let's actually not do that. Let's not make this too over the top. Let's just make this simple. There we go, we have a little a little dip and then a drop. Yeehaw! And I didn't make this tall enough. Let's try this again. No 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 no. What's going on? Flat, curve, up. There we go. Okay, now I made it too tall. I say it's too tall, but what I'm really saying is I don't want it to uh I want it to be able to go all the way to the ground without having extra pieces because I want the transition to look smooth. That's not what I wanted. Gosh dang it. Here we go. 65. That's the number I wanted because watch what happens. Add three of those segments, pull up, and now I'm quit level with the ground. That's what I was after because if you do something like this, that abrupt change in the curvature, in my opinion, just doesn't look good. It doesn't look realistic, I suppose. But there's limitations in a game like this. You can only really do so much. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to make it over that hill. My principle when designing a ride is it always has to be doing something. So, I generally try to avoid straight segments. I try to make it have some form of... of a... what am I even trying to say? Something's always changing. It's either turning, or it's on a hill, or it's turning on a hill, or down a hill. You know, just go for it. Very busy track layout. Let's helix that down. And then helix it up. Let's keep the curve. And with that, we are now level. Let's add some brakes. So we can slow this down so we have a Smooth turn into the station. Perfect. Although I forgot I was supposed to include one of these, which in real life would not be there. But this is a game that's not sophisticated enough to determine if it matters where that uh, photo thing is. But I'm going to crank the price on that up to 360 or 350, whatever. Let's actually not change the price until I get a test result on this bad boy. And let's turn a loan down, because we're paying interest. I don't like paying interest. Don't go into debt, kids. <laughs> you borrow 10000 you pay 12000 Well, I'm, I'm throwing out numbers. That's not actually the rate, but it, it really depends on the loan. But it's never good. Sometimes you have to get a loan if you're, like, buying a house or something. But most of the time, just try to avoid it at all costs. And look how smooth this track transitions between segments. This is what I like to see. That's what I don't like to see is that brakes that slow the train down unnecessarily much. So let me actually only keep one of these brakes. And the one that I keep is a little faster. And I'm not patient enough to wait for this, so let's let it go! Go, Spaghetti Worm, go! I don't know why I called it that. <laughs> it's a spaghetti Worm. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Okay. I'm not sure I like the way this path looks. Let's um let's change a little bit. 
let's go for green because never mind I don't like it and now I'm broke let's take some of that loan back so I, I clearly follow my own advice as you can see Remove that gate. Perfect. I think we can open now. What's the rating? Oh, that's, that's not bad. Let's set this up for 10. Uh, that's not what I want. 10 bucks. $10. Enjoy getting overcharged, uh, folks. Because I'm a capitalist. <laughs> that was a mistake. Um, well, rest in peace, tree. It had to be like that. No! I kill. Uh, oh, man. I was trying to delete the, the fence behind it so my path would connect. No, 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 not there. There we go. Okay. We have people getting in line. That's a good sign. Let's see if they decide to change their mind as soon as the, the ride goes into the station. That's what I don't get. It's like they... They say they're not going to pay so much when they get in line, but then they make the decision all over again when they're here, and sometimes they change their mind. It's really strange. Let's make that the same throughout the park. There we go. We have a solid source of income. How are these doing? Very nice. 500 per hour. That's actually pathetic. Uh, what about this guy? That's a little better. Now let's rip off our peeps. I mean, uh, provide some food. Fun fact, you can charge exorbitant amounts for these, just like they do in real life theme parks, and guests will pay it, if they're desperate enough. I mean, if they're getting hungry, they'll say, I'm not paying that much for a hamburger from Hamburger Stall 1. But as their hunger meter gets all the way over to the edge, their happiness goes down a little bit, but then they buy the food. And in my experience, it has no effect whatsoever on your park rating. So I'm like, heck yeah, I'm going to overcharge for it. I need my money. Although it's different with souvenirs, because they're not obligated to buy these, so let's uh, make that change color. Let's do something bold. Pink! Confident men wear pink. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's see if people are think this price is ridiculous or not. I'm not actually sure. I don't remember what the fair price of these is. Okay, he didn't want it, but he didn't say anything about it. Who wants a hat? Come get your pink multicolor hats. I call it Technicolor hats. Technicats. That's what I got to <laughs> Technicats. Let's rename this. Technicats. <laughs> Technicats. They're like cats, but techno. Although you wear them on your head. Uh, certified not made from cats. Let's actually tell our guests that so they don't have a freak out. Uh... There we go. No cats were harmed in the making of these hats. <laughs> no, I don't have room. Not made with actual cats. There we go. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. The guests don't read. It's, it's not even part of the game. It's just for the, the player's experience. I don't know. Technicats. Nothing? Thoughts? Well, you're not supposed to eat the hat. I don't care if you're hungry. Okay, that's too much. Let's take take that down to $3. What do we got? What do we got? Sales? Okay, I can't stay here forever. I'm going to go elsewhere. We need some slow rides to spruce up the park, make it more inclusive to people who can't handle, who don't have the stomach for the real rides. Have this right at the entrance where it belongs. Um... Oh, I'm completely broke. Still. That's not good. And I said the scenario was easy. <laughs> There's something so bleh. There's something so nostalgic about this merry-go-round music. And connect. Beautiful. Oh snap. Open! Okay, so that's a test. Sales? 
Nobody? No one wants my hats. <laughs> oh, I don't think... I, they, when they see that sign that says not made with actual cats, I think they, they don't think I'm serious. They think I actually skinned cats and made hats. If anyone has seen my Squish That Cat video, where I took that that uh, edited version of that veterinarian from Vancouver, BC. I think it's from Vancouver, BC. That Canadian vet. I'll say it's from Canada. I don't actually know where he's from. Somewhere in Canada, where they re clipped and edited the video to make it sound like he was telling you to squish the cat over and over again. I don't know why, something about that video just cracks me up. And my own cat, or I guess my family's cat, I love her to death, but she is a snark queen, not gonna lie. So it's my playful way of passive aggressively saying, hey, cats suck, but they're awesome at the same time. Why didn't you buy the hat? Purple, purple. Oh. No one wants my hats. Technicats, I don't think they like the, the name. Whatever, I'm not changing it, that's there to stay. Let's add bumper cars, get some music on this side of the park. A mistake I always used to make was trying to cram everything too close together as if I was trying to save space. But why would I need to save space? You're gonna win the scenario long before you fill up the, the, the park and then you'll probably quit the scenario and go play something else. But a park looks good if it's interspersed with scenery and vegetation and it's spaced out. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm on about. Let's put a slide. An electric slide. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I want this. I know I just said not to make everything too close, but... Ah, never mind. Let's put it over here. The back corner of the park. We call it the kitty area. Actually, I'm not sure why I put it there, because I could have just put it here. Because I don't think it needs, an, like, a queue line, because it's not... As a ride, it's not popular enough to warrant having a queue line. Especially if I crank this up. More people on the ride, please. Are these maps... Underpriced? Is that why they're selling so much? Okay, no, they're not. I think they're perfect. Okay, this ride's doing well. 11,000 per hour. Oh, that's not... What? What? What is that? I think I can get away with charging more for this. Let me actually... In this ride's prime, because it's a new ride. Let me get ready to quickly drop that back down. Oh, no, they're paying it. Okay, let's leave it at 13 for now. We need another money maker, so let's take out a bigger loan. Just like I said before, that it's absolutely a good idea to take out a loan. And with with these parks where you're not paying for your entrance to the park, you're paying per ride, it's good to have a super high capacity. So let's make this roller coaster occupy this square here, just because I want to. What do we got? What do we got? That's a long train. Is this two trains? Perfect. Does this have boosters? Oh, ho, ho, it has boosters. Wonderful. Let's crank this up to the maximum. And we're off. <laughs> it wasn't even enough. Gosh dang it. Okay. Um, shoot. I think I can do it like this. Let's try this. Nope. I gotta move this path if I wanna do that. Okay, change of plans. Let's move this guy and point in the other direction. So we have more space to work with over here. And let's put it closer to the pathway. I wanted a little bit of space because I don't like queue lines that are just crammed in there, but whatever. It don't have to be perfect. Hmm. Whoa, wait a minute. That's new. This roller coaster is not supposed to have this as an option. That's uh, that's awesome. That's why I love this modded version of the game, Open RCT2, because of things like that. Where they 
stick things in there, little modifications that aren't part of the vanilla game. Let's freak out the riders, or yeah, freak out the guests by having the track go roaring over their heads. Just like Boardwalk Bullet, one of my favorite wooden roller coasters in the world. I say that as if I know lots of wooden roller coasters, which I don't. I could probably count on my fingers. Yeah, not one hand, but I can probably count on my two hands how many wooden roller coasters I've ridden on in my lifetime. They're pretty sick, though. They're my absolute favorite kind of roller coaster. There's something about that out of control, I'm about to die feeling that I just love. Can I sneak under there, or is there not enough room for that? Okay, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that either. Okay, um... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Shoot! I may have to just... Make this look funny. Oh, I can do it! Yay! I was worried I wouldn't be able to do that. And I didn't think I'd be able to do that, but I tried it anyway. Brakes. Set that to 13. A curve that isn't banked. A photo section because I forgot again. And... Entrance. Beautiful. Let's let this bad boy test in the background while we build a path. Bam, bam, bing, bang, bam, bam. It's a little hot going into those loops. Let me see if that's not too much. Okay, that should be okay. There's an arch to building a roller coaster. If you bank too hard, or if you if you turn too hard without banking, I guess you should say, or if you have super ejector velocity when you go over a hill like right here, then it can, well, for one thing, not be safe to ride in. Okay, right there at the end, that looks a little iffy. Let me see. Okay, it's not horrible. Let's set a price. That's where it should be. I need stats. Give me stats. Oh, come on. It's not as good as this one. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Open for business, and I forgot to set this. Twelve bucks. Let's see if anyone will pay for that. Well, they're lining up, so I guess so. Let's get a corkscrew roller coaster right over here. I don't have room for anything uh, longer than that. Now this is a messy roller coaster if I ever saw one. Okay, I don't like where I put that. Let's uh, flip those. Okay. We have this launched mode, not passing the station. So it doesn't fall back and shoot out the backside and kill passengers, or not passengers, guests on the pathway. Let's set our speed. I'm going to guess 49 is probably the speed we want. Okay, maybe not. That's a little hot. Shoot! Oh, <laughs> I just barely caught it. That was almost too... Almost too late. Let's add another layer to this. Okay. That's a bad sign. Let's actually turn that down so we don't kill somebody with the <laughs> with the G-forces. <laughs> now it's a little bit safer going over that loop. No way. And it still crashed. <laughs> okay, let's start over. Uh, I'm actually surprised it got through all those loops. I didn't think it would make it past the second one, but it got past the third one. What the heck? Okay. Start over as we had it before. Up we go. A loop to the... not the right. To the left. Oh, uh, that was a mistake. Down to the ground. 
up, half loop, corkscrew right, half loop, corkscrew left, half loop. Okay, let's set the speed on this thing to 40, not 45, and see what happens. And of course, I forgot to put my stations on. Don't you love this music? I love the merry-go-round. It's so peppy. It makes me happy. Ho oh, ho! I think I can delete half of this. Not half of this. A chunk of this. I think I do need the corkscrew just to freak out the guests that go over the edge because they're like, oh no! We're gonna roll off the track! We're gonna die! Because they forget that the second half of the train's still down here and pulls them back. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. This looks most, most definitely looks safe. Very, very safe. No one's gonna die. Beautiful. That is what we want to see. Everybody look, my coaster's floating in the air. It has no supports holding it. It looks like it's going to kill somebody. Hold on. I'm not done. Let me actually add a little adjustment here. Photo section. There we go. Slightly less um, visually aesthetic, but... Actually, I can change that. Let me fix that right now. There we go. Now it doesn't look so funny. Corkscrew right, because I remembered this time. Half loop. Corkscrew left. And we are done. So let's that test in the background while I set the price for this thing. I'm assuming the intensity is going to be super high, so we can probably get away with something like that. I am talking way too fast because it is kind of late. Well, it's not super late. It's just, I'm just tired. Went to class this morning at 7.45 a.m. <laughs> okay, as much as I love the merry-go-round music, if you're super close to it all the time, it does actually get kind of annoying. Let's see what we got. What's the stats? Seven. Sheesh. Okay, I don't think I can get away with this. Let's actually knock this down to 1250. Because I don't think it's going to... People are going to ride it for any more than that. It might still be too much. Let's see what people say about it. Has anyone bought a shirt? Or... Well, these aren't shirts. These are hats. Oh, people are buying hats. Wonderful. 47 hats sold. I like to see that. We have a taker. I can't afford Corkscrew Roller Coaster 1. Well, you can't afford it because you don't have... Uh, there's a... Shoot! I don't have ATMs! Gosh dang it. Let's actually turn this up. Maximum! Let's turn off everything except... Shops and stalls, because we need to get... Ah! I gotta escape that noise. We need to get, uh... We need to get... <coughs> a cash register... Or a cash machine as fast as possible. Huh, okay. I have done nothing to paint these. Let's actually do that. I like custom colors. Let's get some bright, conflicting colors that make you go blind to look at them. Yellow and pink is an eye looker. Let's set this to abstract. Big woodies. I like them looking big and woody, so this is fine as how it is. Although I might make the uh, boardwalk more brown. And maybe make this maroon? No, I'm not sure I like that. Okay, I don't even I don't even remember what this was before. <laughs> oh, I think it was that. It was cyan. Okay, I'll just leave that the way it is. Although I will change the entrance. Let's change the entrance to wooden. Or no, log cabin. That's more uh, pioneer I guess? I don't know. I don't know why they usually default to these muted colors. Let's get something a little more exciting. Let's get bright orange and blue. This is the color scheme of Goliath and Nitro from Six Flags. I'm liking this. Okay. This is fine, although I'm going to change this to a canvas tent. Beautiful. 
can't cotton candy stall. That's useless. Um, set this to canvas tent as well, which of course is the wrong color. There we go. This can be uh, oh, whatever canvas tent. And this one can be wooden. Pirate ship. Here's a noob mistake I made. I forgot to hire these guys. Although, I guess I've been saving money on them this whole time, but I need to get them out there before my park rating drops. Because look at this mess. I don't want vandals in my park. Set that guy to work. A couple of mechanics. And let's actually set the inspection um, interval for these rides to 10 minutes instead of 30 minutes. Because if I understand correctly, that means they break down less often. It's also more expensive because you have to hire more mechanics to keep up with the workload, but I guess it's better than having downtime on your rides, which hurts your park rating. Well, I don't actually know if it does. I assume it does. Oh look, speak of the devil. This one broke down. It's a good thing I just hired a mechanic. I feel like it broke down. It was like the game was waiting for me to hire a mechanic and then it just made a breakdown. Ha ha, very funny. I have all those. A Ferris wheel. What is a theme park that doesn't have a Ferris wheel? Not a theme park. That's what it is. Let's shove it right in the entrance so people can see it from a mile away. That's how you get people through the gates. I don't know what the... What even are these colors? <laughs> Terrible is what they are. Let's fix that. First of all, this needs to be a canvas. Bl black? What the heck? Red and yellow. Thank you. Ho ho. Let's set this to blue and yellow. Uh, red. No, that's too. That's too harsh. Too harsh to look at. Can I set this to red? Okay, that works. But let me actually change this canvas tent though. Here we go. All three primary colors. It's kind of hard to look at, actually. Let's make this a little softer. There we go. Beautiful. And it's still testing. Why is it still testing? There we go. Time to spruce it up with some flowers. Oh, I can customize these. Let's set these to pink and yellow. Flower bed right there. And one right there. Let's get some trees back here. I'm not much of a scenery expert, but I don't know. It just makes it look prettier. It looks like we earned back a lot of our money, so let's build another roller coaster. These these three are doing their work. I don't want that. Um hmm. These are horrible. I don't like mini roller coasters. Their capacity is terrible. Let's build a junior roller coaster for the youngsters. The people who can't stomach the bigger rides. Let's cram it into this tiny little space. And I should have known that wouldn't have fit. <laughs> I love that these can spiral. Can I fit in here? Oh, I can. Look at that. No photo section. That sucks. Down we go. And down again. And no room for brakes, of course. Let's actually start going down a little sooner. I, uh, I can't actually do that. Darn it. Let's start going down right here. There we go, much better. Now I can make this a wider turn, a little less intense. Let's set some brakes. Set that to 13 and end the ride. Beautiful. I'm loving this color scheme. I can't believe this actually defaulted to something nice. Cyan and yellow, I never even thought to try something like that. 
Uh, what am I doing? Let me set the lift hill speed faster. I never actually did that here. Whoops. <laughs> I don't like slow lift hills. For one thing, it slows down your capacity a lot. So we kind of bypassed that with the looping roller coaster because of the launched, uh, the launched station. 28,000 per hour. That's what I like to see. What about this one? <laughs> Pathetic. Okay. Well, this is testing. That curve did not look good in the slightest. Let's actually start over. Okay. Lateral G-forces. Oh, it's not. That goes all the way up to seven. This is probably not going to be good. Let's speed this up, see what we got. What do we have to work with? Oh, that wasn't too bad. That was okay. Okay, that's not so bad. And if that cranks up the intensity a little bit, that just means I can charge more. Ho ho! Sorry, Birch Tree. It had to be that way. My roller coaster was more important than you were. Sorry. Red Ladybirds. Although it just occurred to me that the capacity on this thing is a little terrible. Huh? Well, I guess that's what I get for designing it like this. I wonder, oops, didn't mean to do that, if I could block this. Let's block section this train, or this roller coaster. Block brakes. So we got two trains. Hold up, let me actually alter this a little bit. Let's put brakes here to catch the train. And put a booster here to m get it out of the way qu as quickly as possible as soon as the block section opens up. So we don't have any accidents, and we have... Okay, there will definitely be an accident right here. <laughs> Let's actually make this into a block break. For that reason. Delete. Block break. And back down to two trains. That way, if the train is still here, this will catch the train coming down so we don't have a collision. Or at least I think that's what it'll do, if I understand correctly. Look at all these poor suckers with no umbrellas. You poor, you poor peeps. Here we go. Have, have umbrellas. I forgot to set this to random color. There we go. Stay dry, folks. And don't let any crazy capitalists rip you off. <clears throat> it's not such as my... I'm definitely not one of those people. Okay, speed up. That looks good. That looks good. That looks really good. Not bad stats for a junior roller coaster. Let's set the price to eight. Yeah, I think I can get away with eight. I might actually be able to squeeze more out of it, but whatever. This is an easy scenario. I don't need to. Are people not going to ride this because it's raining or because it's too expensive? Okay, it's because it's raining. That's good to see. Something else I forgot to add. We need benches. This improves. If they can sit down, they, they're, they're, um, what am I saying? Their nausea meter starts to go down if they sit down, so they're less likely to puke. Their energy meter also starts increasing, so it's just nice to have benches. A commonly overlooked aspect to any park. And I just plop them down with no rhyme or reason. No thought for how good they look, I just shove them everywhere. Well, usually I do an interval that I don't actually count the space, but I eyeball it so they look roughly uh, similarly placed. Let's get some litter buttons as well. You rock, you dodgems, you rock it. Rock it hard. Does anyone actually call them dodgems? I have always called them bumper cars. I don't know why they're called dodgems in this game. Maybe that's the British way of saying what they are? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Chris Sawyer is British. I can't remember, though. So that would make sense. And Chris Sawyer is a genius. Pretty much single-handedly created this game. I mean, he outsourced some things. Like, obviously, he didn't write the music for these. And there's a lot of little things that he uh, had other people do for him. But most of the... The hard, most of the heavy lifting of this game was done by Chris Sawyer.
Uh, what are these rates? <laughs> That's terrible. Has this gone down too? Yeah, it went down. Oh well, let's try to pay off some of our loans so we stop paying interest. I mean, look at that. $122 a month, that is not good. And with what we have left, advertising. Just like those obnoxious adverts you get on YouTube. I'm pretty sure the advert would go something like this. Are you broke and depressed? We cannot do anything about the second of those two problems, but we can definitely fit the first. Or no, I got that backwards. <laughs> Are you broke and depressed? We can't do anything about the broke part, but we can definitely make it worse by fixing the second problem. Come to... Uh... Electric fields. Come to electric fields and have your depression cured by the world's fastest and bestest and most impressive rides in the world. I said world twice because... De re Department of Redundancy Department. Uh... I don't know what I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I should probably have one of these while I think about it. This is probably the worst place I could have put that. I should have put it over here. <laughs> I'm not thinking. I'm just going for it. Just having a blast like you should. You don't think too hard. You just play. Let's have some overpriced hot dogs for our peeps. Bam. Overpriced hot dogs, everyone. Overpriced hot dogs. Come get your overpriced hot dogs. Do I have lemonade? I do not have lemonade. I have coffee, though. Let's do that. Set that to $4 as well. Just like my drink stall back here. Wherever I put it. Ah, there it is. Yep, yeah, $4. What's the rate on this thing? Ah, it's not horrible. This one is definitely making more, though. Okay. Let's advertise a specific ride, such as the wooden roller coaster, because it has the best stats so far. And pay off our loan some more. Beautiful. I don't actually know what the objective is. Something about a number of guests in your park. Aha, 700 guests by the end of October year two. We are almost done with year one. And we are already almost to the goal for the number of guests. So yeah, this is an easy scenario. I mean, you can't really mess it up. Unless you're 10 years old playing it for the first time like I was and have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> I messed it up so bad. I ran out of money and couldn't figure out why. Or here's here's what my problem was playing this as a kid. As I played this with the mindset of, I want to make this park the way that I would like it. So these drinks are cheap. That's how I would like it. This ride, $2 to ride it. That's how I would like it. And then I wondered why I never had any money. Because <laughs> I was kind of dumb as a kid. But yeah, there's definitely a method. There's definitely a method when you play this. Charge as much as you can get away with, make your park rating good, and just dominate. That looked a little harsh. How hard did that bank? Oh, goodness. I guess the trains are faster when they're loaded with passengers, so it's a little harder for the brakes to catch them. So they take that turn a little, hard, a little harder than they should. But whatever, that's part of the fun. Let's lower this again. How's our loan, or uh, our advertising campaign? One week. Splendid. Let's add a second balloon stall over here. I have a tradition with balloons. What I do is I I drop the price down to zero right before I'm about to win, so they just sell like crazy. And then when you win the scenario and the guests all turn and look at you in that super creepy way that they do and they all clap for you, they all let go of their balloons. So you just get a storm, like a, a cloud of balloons. It's super cool. Do I have the scenery to put a coliseum in here? I do not, but let's put a mine shaft in because why not? And never mind, it doesn't fit. How about this? Or doesn't it fit? Yeah, it doesn't fit. Gosh dang it. I don't know why I put that there, but I did. Five more guests and we have reached our goal. A year early. Look at that. We win. Game over. Ha <laughs> ha. But no, let's play this to completion. Splash Mine. Here's an example of a 
pre-built that I will happily buy every single time because there's really not a whole lot going on with these. There's only a handful of track pieces you can really use and the scenery is done for you and it's the scenery that I really like so I don't see a reason to d redesign the whole thing off of some notion that you have to design your own ride, you know? Can I place this? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Let me put it right here. Oh, I'm broke. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Let me grab some more money. Like any responsible adult would do. And for some reason, it appears that my path isn't connecting. What's going on? Well, before we figure that out, let's crank up the number of never mind us maxed out. That's turned off. That's good. Let's actually tweak something on here. Just to make it a little more interesting, we get a... Well, first of all, we need a photo section. I don't know why there isn't one. And... Reverse turntable. Yeah! Get that intensity rating up so we can charge more money. Oh, there's a fence there. What the heck? Oh yeah, it's the because of the the farm thing. Oh, I can't delete it. Delete. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that's gonna run in the background. This takes a long time to test because it's such a slow ride. Look how close these are to each other. If only, like in the good old days, like 50 years ago, you could ride rides like this. But unfortunately, it's not safe, so they don't do that today. But it would be so fun. Higher capacity, more riders per hour. You get more bang for your buck when you pay so much money to go to a theme park. You're just taking your life into your hands a little bit. Oh, look at that. We just paid We just paid for all of our stuff. Into the red. We're in debt. And just like that, we're out of debt. Because we're making money. I never actually... I'm just going to leave that. I forgot to set the price for that. <laughs> Oops. And again with the rain. Which means no money. Because people don't like riding rides in the rain. In the meantime, let's speed up this thing. Perfect. Oh, I didn't set the price. No! Ten dollars. Okay, I don't think I'm just gonna pay that. Uh, eight dollars. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Oh no! My entrance is my exit is blocked too. Stupid fence. There we go. Okay. Let me actually see how much I can, how far I can push this. Let's try twelve. I am not. Are people still getting like oh they're still going in line okay i guess we can get away with that for now yep yep look there we go people be paying twelve dollars to ride in a boat I, I probably wouldn't pay that that's kind of a lot kima boardwalk this tiny little tourist trap in texas with a with a phenomenal wooden roller coaster built by the gravity group i think i would say it's my favorite wooden roller coaster but that's just because it's the most recent one i rid on i haven't ridden on a wooden roller coaster before that one in maybe five six years so i can't really say for certain but it was crazy i went to that thing and when the sun was up and it was super intense it was super fun i loved it but we went back when the sun went down and it was super dark and that cranked up the intensity to like 10. It was crazy. I have never been so so profoundly affected by a ride in my life as riding Boardwalk Bullet in the dark. That was insane. So, I'm a sucker for woodies. I love wooden roller coasters. But the point I'm getting at, though, I kind of got off on a tangent there. The wristband that gave you access to all rides was $20. You buy that wristband, then you can ride Boardwalk Bullet as many times as you want. And then the pier, the neighboring park, some, uh, elsewhere in Texas, that thing was, uh, I don't remember where I was going with that. Oh yeah, I think the wristband was more expensive. And the Iron Shark, the ride that they have there, is not even remotely impressive. I mean, it looks cool, but it didn't feel good riding it. The G-forces are a little too strong, it was a little jerky. 
I mean, wooden roller coasters are jerky, but they don't bang your head around. They just shake you a little bit. But the, the Iron Shark, I did not enjoy that ride. It, ma it made my head hurt. Although I did convince my roommate to sing Iron Shark do 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 Iron Shark do 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 as we went down the, the first drop. It was so funny. I think the other writers thought we were high or something. <laughs> For context, I do not live in Texas. I live in Washington State. Well, currently I live in Idaho for college, but I'm from Washington state, but I was in Texas for a construction internship because that was what I was studying at the time before I changed my major to music. But I actually just changed my major again, so I'm not even doing music anymore. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Although what I changed it to will allow me to graduate a lot sooner than what, how soon I would have graduated with music because I can consolidate all of the construction credits I did before I changed my major into my new major. So I'll be out of here. I should be finished by fall next year. But look at this thing. Thing of beauty. <laughs> I love it. Eh, that's not horrible. Loan is paid off. Beautiful. And let's start another advertising campaign. Let's uh, advertise Splash Mine. Bam! Get them peeps into my park! And spend all of your money. Let's fast forward because I don't want this video to be super long. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at this thing go. That's what I like to see. Okay, how are we doing? How's the litter looking? Not too much litter. That's good to see. Let's get a transport ride. We have... Oh, I love miniature railways. They're so cute. Uh, let's put it right here. Uh, first station. Why is this a canvas tent? Hold on. I need to see what I'm doing. Can I make this train any longer? Let's see those. One, two, three, four, five. If I delete that, it goes... Uh, yep, it's, it shrinks. Okay, so this is what we get. Here's another thing. I don't think you were able to do this in Vanilla Roller Coaster Tycoon. But you can make the uh, you can make the train tracks go right through the pathway, resembling what parks do in real life. It's unfortunate that wasn't part of the vanilla game. I can't do that, darn it. Okay, can't do that either. S bend. Not not uh, wrong way. <laughs> Let's hug the edge of the park. Maybe put some scenery right here in this pocket since we're basically essentially closing it off from ourselves. Look at that. We used every single tile up to the edge of the park. Perfect. Let's have this thing slither back behind our wooden roller coaster and maybe have a path reach under the roller coaster and connect to a station over here. Let's try to make the in, the space between stations roughly equal. So we'll have a station here, a station here, and a station here. Although I think I already made this segment too long, so let me shrink this. How long is the station? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, it's actually slightly longer. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. And off to no, no, that's not what I meant to do. Through the orchard, and we don't want to knock the trees down, so let's go around the trees. And here we have the apricot orchard. Apricots are highly nutritious, loaded with vitamin C and other antioxidants. I don't actually know if that's true, but I assume it is because it's fruit, and I'm trying to sound official like I know what I'm talking about. And now we go through the dandelion field. Actually, what are these? These? Well, I know they're not dandelions, but what in the world are cattails? This is a this is an orchard, not an orchard. This is this is a farm. Why are there cattails planted in a field? That doesn't make sense. Cattails typically grow by bodies of water, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get, this is a little long. Okay, let's actually. I guess it doesn't matter if it's too long. I mean, whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mm. 
No, didn't mean to do that. Okay. I'm gonna have to stall a little bit here. There we go. A redundant curve around just to try to make the length of each track segment between stations roughly equal. Let's go through the, far the farm field. Right through here. And turn around for no good reason. Except that I want to. And there we go. We have completed our circuit. Although this is still too short. Uh, hmm. Let's bring this back. Let's actually make this go... Let's make this go through the path. Okay, that's actually a bad idea, because we need a pathway there. I know this makes no sense at all. I'm just... You know, just, just send it. Send it! That's what I'm doing. I'm just sending it. Entrance. Let's place it, um, I don't know, back there. Again, I, if if there's a pro in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, it's not me. I just, I'm a casual player and I enjoy it. One more station. There we go. Although, let me actually move this to the middle. Okay. Test how many trains we got. Eight trains. Can we increase that? We cannot, unfortunately. Let's leave this intact because that's going to help with the spacing of the trains, or else we'll just have a super long train of trains. Trainception. And then the queue waiting time will be obscenely long and guests will get upset waiting for the train. Okay. Delete this fence. Okay, that was a mistake, I think. Let's, uh, hmm, not do that. Let's keep this going this way a little bit. No, don't delete my path. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Then we can loop this. Because the pathfinding algorithm for these peeps is kind of dumb. They don't know how to find their, oh, dang it. Okay, I didn't quite go far enough. Dead ends and roller coaster tycoon people don't don't uh, fire in all cylinders. They just get stuck. But loops, they know they they know loops. They can loop around. Did you see that? My cursor was over here, and this fence deleted. That was weird. Through the field of bushes, I'm gonna say they're blueberry bushes, but I but I actually have no idea. There we go. We have created a loop around. I'm not sure I can do the same thing here though. Actually, no, let me, can I? No, that's not what I wanted. Can I go, how do I go under this? Let's see through supports. Okay, that's a dead end. I cannot go that way. Let's try this way. Can I sneak through here? Oh, I can. Look at that. But I can't go through there. Gosh dang it. Let's go this way. Can't go that way either. Okay, dead end. There we go. Ho ho! We did it. We went under the roller coaster. Okay, now for the the uh, entrance, Q line.
Line it for the train, people. Oops, wrong, wrong path type. Okay. Let's loop this through here. First of all, let's bring this path around through the field of cattails, which don't make sense, but they're still there, so whatever. And all the way. No! I can't freehand paths! <laughs> There we go. And now we can connect it here. Knock that path out. Or that fence out. Through the orchard. Beautiful. Now we have a connected path network. Is this done testing yet? Oh, still processing. Okay. Our ride time. Look at that. Pretty close. Not perfect, but pretty close. Beautiful. Now, how's the spacing of the trains? Do I need to turn up the... Okay, I, th I might need to turn up the wait time. Let's turn it up to 15 seconds. So what I'll do is I'll back up all the trains right here, but then it'll re-release them in a more uh, uniform spacing, hopefully. I don't actually know if it'll do that, but cross our fingers. Loan is paid off. I have cash. Life is good. Let's turn this up as high as we can. And let's advertise our corkscrew roller coaster because I don't know if it actually makes a difference. I assume the higher the stats of the ride you're advertising, the better performance the ad campaign does. But I like variety, so I just alternate between my rides. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I assume it does, but I don't actually know. Look at that, they stop for the train, isn't that great? Although sometimes, sometimes the system gets bugged and they freeze right in the middle of the track because they're waiting for the train, but then... Oh shoot, I forgot to build the exit. I, I didn't build all the things. Uh, oops. Sorry about that, peeps. Let me just fix that for you right here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's a little long. A little longer than it needs to be. Let me delete these. There we go. There we don't go. No! 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 That's not what I wanted! No! There we go. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Now, how about this station over here? This looks good. This does not look good. Much better. Look at that, two by six. You know what that means. Mineshaft. I don't know why I said it means that. I just decided to put one there. And this space. Let's make this look a little overgrown. Let's get some shrubs and some cattails. Just let me plant them, please. Please. This is where cattails belong, is in the water. Or near the water, like this. We actually haven't had a lot more guests since I last looked. It's probably because I haven't added any more exciting rides. Because this is not this is not exciting at all. Cash machine? Yes! That's what we need. That's how we make progress. That's how we're going to really jack up the guest count. Let's build several in different parts of the park. Strategically placed. Let's put one more over here. There we go. Now we're set. Now these guys will never run out of, yeah, never run out of money. What's funny is you can click on a guest who's been in the park for a long time and you look at the cash spent and sometimes they're up in like the thousands. It's crazy how much they spend. But let's fix this now since we sold out all this or we, we have all that, I guess you should say. Sub sandwiches, let's add that. Right there. And jack up the price. Five bucks. Booyah. And drinks to go along with that. Do I have lemonade yet? Oh. Oh, I do. Yes. I have some lemonade. Four dollars. 
beautiful. And of course, no one's buying any. Because they're like, I'm not paying $5 for a sub sandwich. What is this, 2022? Oh, wait a minute. That's a pretty good price these days. <laughs> when did this game come out? I can't remember. Was it like 2001 or 2002? 1999? Somewhere around there. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't want this fixed. I don't want this to be fixed. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is brilliant. I, this is brilliant. <laughs> I've heard of this, but I rarely see it. I think I've seen it happen one other time. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay, I need, I, I gotta stop looking at that. Like, that cracks me up. Okay, what else we got to work with here? A maze! Amazing. Nope, I don't like mazes. Let's do another roller coaster. Mind Mania, it's a pre-built, but I don't care because this roller coaster sucks. I can't connect the path. Oh, I'm poor. I'm broke. I guess I deserve this. Can I fit it? I, no, I can't. I can't afford it either. I'm taking out a loan. I'm not patient. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. That's how we do it, ladies. Oh, my goodness. What just happened to the path? <laughs> what even just happened? Oh, it's the fence. Uh, Fix that, I guess? There we go. Perfect. Open for business. Well, not open, but test. Set that to 10. Because I don't actually know what it's going to do. Merry-go-round has no path of mix exit? Wow, I wonder why. What do the people think? Okay, they don't think much of it yet. I think they're just enjoying it. Yeah, you guys have fun on the rogue merry-go-round. This is the time of your life. You'll never have this experience again. I, I, I can assure you that. This is a magical moment for you. Let's see. Speed up. Bumper cars, no! Oh, it died. Is there a mechanic coming to this guy? Okay, good. Here he's on his way. I think I need to hire a few more mechanics to keep up with the number of rides we have. One of them is trying to respond to the merry-go-round. I'm curious, where is he? Control failure! What are you doing over here? The merry-go-round is not over here. I mean, I know I removed the path, but... You know what? I've had my fun. I'm fixing it. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> that trill! That trill is the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it sounds good at its normal speed. What the heck? Oh my goodness, everything's broken down. I guess it was time for me to hire more mechanics. Okay, not everything, just two. It almost sounds like the rhythm has more swing to it when it's played at the speed, but I never really noticed it when it was at its nor normal speed. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Guys, you can't go through. It's broken down. Just go... Uh, uh.
There we go, all the way to the ground. Woo! Now that's a drop if I ever saw one. Step aside, El Toro. Your days of being the baddest Woody in the world are gone. Done and over with. I'm just kidding. I actually, was, I'm really kicking myself for missing my chance to ride El Toro because I was at that Six Flags park back in 2012. And I rode the other wooden roller coasters in the park. I think it was, uh, it wasn't Colossus, it was Rolling Thunder. I went on one of the Rolling Thunder tracks. But they were only operating one track at the time, sadly. Anyway, I missed my chance. I didn't go on it, and I don't know why I didn't go on it. Opportunity of a lifetime. Especially since I've heard from that YouTube channel called El Toro Ryan, as a former ride operator of El Toro, that it's actually having some problems, and I think there's a possibility it'll be closed. I'm not sure. I might have misheard that or misunderstood what he said, but... Uh, I'm hoping that's not the case. That would be very sad. Okay, this isn't working. Let's actually go up first, then photo section, then curve down around the drop. Doesn't this look so real? Okay, I hate this. Let me undo all of this. This looks terrible. Well, that's unfortunate. I can't do that. Uh, okay, let's only do this then. Some airtime hills. Ejector airtime hills. The best kind of airtime hills. And the train... The, 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 yeah, what am I saying? It's in the way. I can't do that. I can't do that either. I can do that, though. Hmm, what's in the way here? Okay, well that's frustrating. Can I go up? Nope, I can't. I can do that though. Oh! Wait, no, no, no. I cannot do that. And this is probably going to give someone whiplash, but I'm going to try it anyway, because I want to. Take that. Yeah, that's literally going to kill someone. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> Instead, let's sneak a little track piece there, keep the bank, and go up that way. There we go. That works. Perfect. Back down to ground level. And I got carried away and forgot to add block sections in the middle of the track. So let's actually backtrack a little bit. Or no, I think that was fine. Let's actually keep that. I'm not actually sure how I did that. Oh, that's probably how I did it. And then I wasn't able to do this because it was too close, so I added a piece here. Okay. There we go. Back in business. Let's actually make this go all the way up so the train loses momentum. Uh, it's not going to make it that high. Let's actually make it go here. That's too low. Ah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. We're going to put a block section there, although if I do it, it'll kill this little ghost thing for some reason. Another bug, I suppose. Yeah, that totally did make it. <laughs> okay, well, back down to this level, I guess. Let's restart that. And not put the section there, because if I do, it'll screw up the, the ride. And we cannot do that, because the train's in the way. Grr! We've got a little airtime hop right there for no good reason, except that it's fun. Fun. 
55, is that going to make it? I don't think, no, that's not going to make it. Let's level that. Actually, no, up to 45, because that'll let us go back down to the ground. Beautiful. Did I already have one of these? Oh, no, I didn't. Well, okay. Good thing I had one there. And then snake around right there. And that's a horrible mistake because I don't have a block section. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Let's add one. No, that's not going to work. Let's, uh, hmm. Let's actually just wrap around. I think we'll lose most of our velocity, so this will be safe. This will be fine. Let's add it right there. And add one right here. I don't know if this is going to work. Block sections always confuse me, but let's cross our fingers and see if this works. Entrance and exit. Bam. And no, 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 no. I forgot to change the lift hill speed. So start over. Start over, guys. False alarm. Only four seater trains. No articulated trains. <laughs> four trains. That's a lot of trains. I hope this actually works. I have a feeling I need to subtract one of the trains from this. Yeah, look at this. Look at this backup. Although if this un if this uncongests itself, I might let it stay. Although I think I'm gonna change this to three trains. Cause it's not that big. Yeah, I'm not liking this at all. Nope. Big nope. Three trains. Okay, let's advertise short term something else so I can advertise this as soon as it's a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Corkscrew roller coaster. Jeez. Okay. Much better. So this one doesn't stall there, which means this one won't stall here. Perfect. It should just remain continuous. Oh no, this one's going to stall. Ah, oh, crap. Yep, because that one's still there. I didn't think that through. Hmm. That's why I hate these kinds of roller coasters with block sections. Although I guess you could just say it counts as just one big lift hill, so it doesn't make much of a difference, so... It's fine. I'm just gonna add pathways to See how long I can make this. Perfect. I think that connected. Oh, perfect, it did. What's the stats? What do we got to work with? Ho, 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 very high. I like that. Beautiful. Let's crank this bad boy up to $16. No, I think I can actually get it with 18. No! That was a mistake. $18. Let's see what we get. See if people want to ride it. Any takers? Or is this too expensive in your mind? In your eyes, you... You peeps. You tiny humans. 
Yeah, nope. Nope. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. 16 it is then. That might still be too much. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, fine. 14. These guys are stingy. Goodness. That guy freaked out. He's like, oh, that's too intense. <laughs> Let's paint these cars or these trains. Different colors per train. Train one, green. Train two, red. Train three, blue. Boom. And let's uh, make this canvas. Oh my gosh, never mind. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, that's not much better. Log cabin, that's what I wanted. There we go. Because most rides, the color of the tent corresponds to the color of the track. Not if, if I want to change the tent, I'd have to change the track. And I like the track. This looks good. So I'm going to leave it. I never actually changed the price of this thing. Oops. I'm just going to leave it. It's fine. T-shirts. Let's sell t-shirts. Why, why don't we? Right nestled in the helix of this. That's not a helix, is it? In the loop thing of my roller coaster. Let's sell these for five bucks. Or six bucks. Oh, it's sold already. No thoughts? I guess it's fair. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Let's make this. Let's make this yellow, the color of happiness. That's the color it is on the ground, although I guess you can't see it anyway. Now it just blends into the roller coaster. I don't actually know if ice cream is a pleasure item or if it actually fixes the hunger meter of guests. So I don't know if I can get away with jacking the price up like I can with a hamburger or some other food item. Thoughts? Really good value? We'll see about that. Now is it good value? Ho oh, ho! Now what do you think about it? Anybody else think this is a steal? A steal of a deal? I guess not. Okay. Sorry. I mean, you're fine. You can... I'm grateful for your feedback. Let's see. What can we change? What can we add? What, what, what can we take away? Oh, uh, you know. Cat's eyes. Hmm. Jungle racers. That looks like fun. Or, nah. I like jungle racers. Although it looks like I'm going to be stuck with a different type of vehicle. But that's fine. I don't have room for it. I guess it's a downside to interspersing my stuff so much like I did. <laughs> Unless I build it elevated. I don't want to do that, though. I wonder if I flip it. It appears there are no elevated sections of the ride that'll let me place this over something. What if I turn it and delete some of these paths? Sorry, peeps. Oh, no, it's not the paths that are the problem. It's the two rides. Darn it. Okay, well, let me fix what... Fix the mess I made. Where else can I try to put this? Let's try and close the circus and move it somewhere else. I think my queue line was too long anyway. Would have made unhappy guests. Oh, you just got lost in a cornfield. Or a, a, a cattails field. I'm a little... I would be freaked out if I were you. You're probably going to die. Well, actually, you're not, but... 
People have a tendency to panic about stuff. Perfect. Okay. Can I get this level on the ground? Yes! I can do it! That makes me happy. Oh my goodness, what just happened to my pathway? Let's get that out of the way. Connect that and get that. No, no, wrong one. That out of the way. There we go. Beautiful. How many vehicles do we get? 16? Is this, is this, is this all we get? Okay, vintage cars. What kind of coloration is this? That's a little better. What else can we get? Eh, no. Blue? I think I like blue. Minimum waiting time is turned off. Perfect. Let's go. Look at that cash. We're making bank. Oh, I forgot. We need to advertise our new roller coaster. Wooden roller coaster 2. Where is it? There it is. Let's set this to six weeks so we can reset it at the same time as the other one. Huh. I'm getting tired. It's been a long day. Look at him go. Scurrying like little ants. Okay, it's a good thing these cars don't screw with the, the, the ratings, because that's roughly what it was in the preview, so. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I guess every four or five seconds it changes to a new day. Or no. I'm confused, because the last one was like five seconds. Now it's like every two seconds. What was, what was the, what's that that I saw? A new ride? Haunted house? I think I like. Let's add a haunted house. And let's put it, put it in the outskirts, hiding in the orchard. By the train. Did I stagger this? Yes. That means I don't have to kill my trees. Oh! It's not that I'm a tree lover so much as scenery is beneficial to the park. It improves the ratings of your rides and removing it costs money. I ain't no tree hugger. I mean, maybe I should be. I mean, you know, take care of the environment. Be good stewards, but don't make a religion out of it. Still selling full price? What about this one? No one is riding this. Is anyone on the ride? I was afraid of that. Okay, time to reduce this. No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh. No! I meant to hit... I didn't hit delete enough times. There we go. People are back. Get back on that ride. What about this one? Nobody in the queue line. Let's drop this down as well. How about the corkscrew? Doth anyone want wish to ride this ride? Yep, people lining up again, that's good. Okay. October seventeenth, year two. We're almost finished with the scenario. Look look at Splash Mine, it is so popular. This is a money making machine. Let me look at these rates, they haven't changed since we bought it in the beginning. I think that's where all of our money's coming from, because I suspect that these rides right here haven't had guests in a long time. Adver yeah, advertising campaign is finished. This will be over in two months, so I'm only going to set this to eight weeks. Where's the other one? Come on. Come on. Wait, what? What? Oh, that was quick. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, this is what I was talking about with the balloons. There's a lot of balloons. But I forgot to turn down the price, so there's less of them, but whatever. Look at this! Isn't this great? And because of the random color, they're all different colors. Random color was actually added relatively recently. I used to just have a lot of different balloon stands and make them all different colors.
myself, but this works. Although you get some unsavory, unsightly colors like these ones. <laughs> this brown one's okay, but this one looks like, um, yeah, I'm not going to say what that looks like. I don't know if YouTube's going to uh, flag my video or something if I say what that looks like. <laughs> But yeah, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. If you like content like this, please let me know in the comments. If this was a drag and a super long 30, 40 minute waste of your time, also let me know in the comments and I won't do anything like this again. Although I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. So definitely give me some feedback so I know what kind of content you like so I can do that more in the future. And I will see you in the next video I release. Bye bye.